Good evening and welcome to a mini edition of Football Friday Night. We have highlights from the second round of playoffs in Georgia and South Carolina. And we want to start with Edmund Burke Academy looking to make history at the state championship tonight. Graham Lee has the highlights from Statesboro. The Spartans faced off against the Robert Toombs Crusaders for their second straight trip to the state title game. Coach Andy Woodard told us before the game it's a different team from what they saw to start the year and that proved to be the case tonight. After a scoreless first quarter, the scoring began thanks to a stop on fourth down by the Spartans' defense midway through the second quarter. That play would set up this touchdown pass from Mark Owen to Wyatt Carey to open the scoring. It was 7-7 at halftime. It wouldn't take long for EBA to get on the board in the second half, with senior running back Owen Red adding to their lead on the first drive. He turned out to carry the load for the Spartans, turning his second half performance into a highlight reel. But late in the fourth quarter, with Edmund Burke up 20-10, it took two plays for the Crusaders to respond, with this 50-yard pass setting up the touchdown. But after making key conversions on their final drive, the Spartans get to call themselves state champs once again. All glory to God. I mean, the people that we've had coming into this year, I mean, the younger guys, they've improved so much. they got a greater future. And then senior class this year, we went and got Marco and Chancey. He came back after his sophomore year, and that was a big help. It's an unbelievable feeling. I'm so happy for our seniors and our players and everybody associated with our football program, our school community, our administration, our fans, our cheerleaders. The big red fan wave showed up. Spartan Nation was here. They were loud throughout the game. They, they forced some big uh, false start penalties and legal procedure penalties down there late when we had to have them. And so it was just a huge whole program effort, whole fan base effort. On top of winning back-to-back -back titles for the first time in program history, Coach Andy Woodard now has two state championships to his name in just his third year as EBA's head coach. In Statesboro, Graham Lee, WJBF, News Channel 6. And another private school to set play for a state championship is the Brentwood War Eagles of Sandersville. They are 10-1 overall and will be facing off against Southwest Georgia, who is 9-1. That game tomorrow at 5 o'clock at Georgia Southern. News Channel 6 will have a crew there, and we will have those highlights tomorrow at 11. And the Lakeside Panthers, they're looking to make the quarterfinals for the first time in school history. Tonight, they faced off against a Houston County team who is 7-4. The team took the field fired up to host another postseason game. Houston County with the ball. They hand off to Austin Stinson, who takes it 39 yards to the house. The extra point is good. The Bears up 7-0. Now they're up 14 zip. Lakeside hands off to BJ Grissom, who powers his way through the line for a big gain and the first down. That one from Grissom would set up this 30-yard field goal right here from William Brandenburg to make it 14-13. Now the Bears with it again. Antoine Hill drops back and finds a wide open Isaiah Mitchell for six more. 28-3 now. Bears on the two. They hand off, but BJ Grissom rips through the line, makes a huge hit for the safety lakeside falls though 63 to 12 and over to Harlem the Bulldogs looking to advance as they face off against the Southeast Bullock Yellow Jackets. They also brought out the heating lamps as fans were bundled up in the stands. First quarter Harlem driving Baylor, Baylor Davis hits Jaden Futrell. He hits the spin move for the first down, but the drive stalls. So now it's the Yellow Jackets turn to answer. Handoff goes to Quentin Reed. He's met by a swarm of Harlan defenders. Nobody fooled there. Moving on to the second quarter, Davis, he fakes the handoff, but he loses the football. Forrest Fretwell dives for the ball and he recovers it, but not so fast because they give it right back and it's Reed again, but he fumbles the ball. Joseph Clark recovers. It was a turnover party. Southeast Bullock, though, wins it 21 to nothing. And the Red Devils walk up and through the banner as they are taking on Mitchell County. First quarter in the opening drive, they score as Makai Wade hands off to Jonathan Norman for the touchdown. Extra point is good to make it 7-0 Red Devils. Now still in the first, Wade passes to Aiden Jones for the second touchdown to make it 14-0. And the Red Devils at this point, they pour it on as Wade hands it off to Jonathan Norman for another touchdown. Extra point is good, 35-0 at the half. Lincoln County will host in the quarterfinals with a 49-7 win. And they had two local teams facing off tonight in the second round of the GHSA 2A playoffs. And for more on that, here is Mike O'Neill. Mike. It was a great game, and the Burke County Bears and the Lane Wildcats have already faced off already this season. But tonight, they meet for the second time in the second round of the playoffs. Burke County won the first matchup 43-6. And the Laney Wildcats are looking for revenge. They're coming through the tape and they're ready to go and locked and loaded. And the first play from scrimmage, the Bears would fumble it. 
and it's a scoop and score for Laney. They put six on the board and they would go to for two to make it eight to zero. But the Bears were answer immediately on the very next play. He takes it all the way to the end zone for six and you're not catching that man. Eight to seven early in the fourth, second quarter now. And the tight end catches the screen and hops over defender. Look at this. Whew, too nice. And he plows his way through two more and he gets in the end zone to give Burke County a 14 to eight lead. And back and forth we go. Laney gets it on the one and punches it in to tie the game at 14. Burke County then drives it all the way in the red zone and he barrels ahead to put the Bears up by seven before halftime. And first drive out of the half, uh, he finds a crease and sprints to the end zone and to scratch the lead to 14. And the Burke County Bears win it 49 to 28. Thompson was on the road tonight playing Hatefield Charter. They won 41 to 21, and they will have a rematch against Burke County in the quarterfinals next week at the Bear Den. And here are some four scores for you. As Aquinas uh, wins 31 to 20, Jenkins County beats Macon County 35 to 21, Clinch County beats Johnson County 28 to 6. And, and Gianna, back don't to go away. Thanks, Mike. We will be back next with more playoff action from South Carolina.